Now there are various kinds of prepositions including prepositions that indicate the direction or movement of something. It's important to note that prepositions of direction or motion are used to indicate the movement from one place to another. Typically, we use these prepositions to answer the question that starts with where and indicates the direction of movement. For instance, where is the post office? It's across the street from the bank. Here, the preposition of direction across tells us the direction or orientation of the post office in relation to the bank. Moreover, some commonly used prepositions of direction or motion include. Firstly, the preposition to is used to indicate the direction of movement towards a specific destination or endpoint. Such as. Adam drove to the store to buy some green vegetables. So, in the above phrase the preposition to indicates the direction of Adam's movement towards the store as their destination. The plane is flying to Saudi Arabia. Also, in this sentence, the preposition to indicates the direction of the plane's movement towards Saudi Arabia as its destination. Note that the preposition towards is often used to indicate the direction of movement in the sense of in the direction of something or someone. For example, the dog ran towards the Aladdin Park. Here, the preposition towards is used to indicate the direction of the dog's movement in the direction of the park. Secondly, the preposition across is often used to indicate the direction of movement from one side of something to the other side. Consider this example. Hannah swam across the river to get to the other side. So, in the above phrase, the preposition across is used to indicate the direction of movement from one side of the river to the other side. Thirdly, the preposition into is used to indicate the direction of movement into an enclosed space, while the preposition onto is used to indicate the direction of movement onto the surface of something. Such as. Ollie jumped into the pool implies that the speaker moved from outside the pool into the enclosed space of the pool, while Ollie placed the book onto the table implies that the speaker moved the book from a different surface onto the surface of the table. Fourthly, the preposition over is more commonly used to indicate movement across or above something, rather than an upward and forward direction specifically. Such as. The bird flew over the building implies that the bird moved above or across the building. However, in some contexts, over can also indicate an upward direction, as in the phrase climbing over the mountain, which implies that the movement is upwards in addition to being across the mountain. Fifth is the preposition through is often used to indicate the direction of movement within an enclosed space from one point to another. Such as. Harry walked through the park implies that the speaker moved from one end of the park to the other end while staying within the boundaries of the park. Another example could be. The water flowed through the pipe which indicates the movement of water within the enclosed space of the pipe from one end to the other end. Sixth is that the preposition past is often used to indicate movement near or beyond something while on the way to another location. For example. I walked past the chocolate shop on my way to work implies that the speaker was walking towards their workplace and the chocolate shop was nearby or adjacent to their route. However, past doesn't necessarily imply movement towards another location. It can simply indicate movement in the vicinity of something or someone. For instance, I saw a deer run past my window doesn't necessarily mean the deer was on its way to another location but it simply passed by the speaker's window.